All right, guys, let's watch a clip from this movie and come back and talk about it. What are you doing here? Nathan. Nathan, please have any school. Look, I am not interested in any explanation you have to give. Please just give me a few minutes, okay, to explain. Look, it I, is not what you look, think. I don't want to hear it. I don't. Why don't you just leave? Not when I am carrying your child. Look, you must be dreaming if you think I'm going to fall for whatever lies you came here to tell. You must be dreaming. You're out of your mind. So you better take whatever it is that is in there to the men that you have been sleeping with because I'm not responsible for that. Did you hear me? Better leave and never come back. Okay, so your CV is quite impressive. And I hope you do a better job working with us. I'll do my very best, sir. So you uh, you asked me? Yes. So this is Miss Modino. She'll be working directly under you and she's in your contact. Get me home. What are you doing here? Did I not warn you to never show your face anywhere near me? I'm here to work and not to see your stupid face. <laughs> swear. Swear to me that you do not know that I worked here. And why would I waste my precious swear on someone like you? Decline the job. What? Decline what? Look, if you do not want to regret coming here today, you better turn down this job now. You're crazy. Go, oh, you think this is crazy? Wait till you see the craziness that I will unleash on you if you do not leave this place. Just, just wait and see. Micah! Are you okay? Come here, come here, come here. Oh my god, what happens? Are you okay? Are you fine? You know what? Just leave me as you are, okay? What are you doing with my child? Well, you said you were pregnant for me years back. It has to be Micah. Am I right? You <laughs> me. He is not your son. But you said he was mine then. Not anymore. He is my son alone. He is not yours. Well, since you're so sure, I want a DNA test. You are not touching my child. You have no right to ask me a DNA test. Well, that answers my question then. He is mine. He is not. You said it yourself years ago, so he is not your son. All right, guys. So I don't know what it is with us men and denying pregnancies. You see, <coughs> that madame did not do the thing by herself. If she's saying that she's pregnant, it means that probably you did something with her. Now, let's rewind this thing. You know you did not like this girl. You knew very well that you don't have any future with her. But when it came to the other room, you did not use condom. On top of that, you did not use condom. You also possibly went in wrong. Okay. Now, let's just say that at that time, your head was touching. Okay. Here we are now. Not only did you go in wrong, you failed to withdraw. Let's just say you thought you withdraw, but you did not withdraw. But maybe, maybe not. At the end of the day, you can come and tell her, Oh, you want to hold me with pregnancy. Oh, you think you can uh, tie me down with pregnancy. Okay, she didn't do it to herself. It's you that decided when you were doing the do to, you know, inside her. And now she's saying she's pregnant and you are shouting. Better go and look for the father of that child. Better go and look for the father of that child. Are you not possibly a father too? So, guys, let's stop this thing. If you know you don't like somebody, start from the beginning to be taking preventive measures to ensure that there will never be any story. That nobody will ever come to you with pregnancy talk. Is it that you avoid her completely? Or if you have to, then be careful. And do the right thing. Protection. It's that simple though. I don't know how else to say. It's very, very simple. But let's just get past this stage. And now move on to the next thing. She now says she's pregnant. You shout, yell, push her out. Eh, it's not yours. You can't hold time me down with it. You can't this, you can't that. And then you push her away. Just in case you guys did do. You can actually find out if a child is yours from week nine of the pregnancy so if by the time many people find out that they're pregnant it's already maybe six weeks seven weeks so to wait to week nine to find out if the child is yours it's called non-invasive paternal pregnancy test now at that point they will be able to take samples with your dna and samples from the lady and they yes they can determine if you are the father now at least give her that courtesy and wait till that nine weeks and then take her to the proper clinic to get that test and see if the child is yours if the child is yours there's no need to run any 
There is no need running. Let me tell you guys something that you don't know. You know, at every stage in our lives, we always have something that you are pursuing. Of course, we are either pursuing or they are pursuing us. But you know, you get the point. So you most likely are not ready. Let's just say that they do this their stand is yours. You might not be ready. But let me tell you something. In the next 10 years, in the next 15 years, I bet you that child that you said, go and move, you would wish you had it. You will wish you had it. I'm telling you this for a fact. Forget what your situation is at the moment. Take care of that child. If it's yours, take care of it. Take care of the baby. Let her grow up. It doesn't cost too much to take care of a child. Even if you don't want the mother, do not deny your kid. Don't. Because you're going to come back later for that child. There is no two ways about it. I'm telling you this thing for free. You will come back for that child. So why deny it from the get-go? Stick around. Do what you can do for a child. Look, we've had parents that raised 12 kids and both of them were on minimum wage. It's a struggle, but they did it. And all those kids are alive today, doing one thing or another, making their own strives in life. So don't, don't, you guys, don't be too fast to do this pregnancy denial thing and, you know, get out of my life and, you know, you know, don't hook me. We don't think you can hook me with a child. It's a good thing. It's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing. So take it. Take it. Maybe that child is your saving grace. You don't know this. But one thing we know for a fact is that 10, 15 years later, you are going to come back for that child. You are going to wish that you know where that lady was. You are going to hope that he, she never took out that child. I'm telling you this. So guys, do the needful. If she comes to you and says that she's pregnant, the question should be, how many weeks are you? You can ask if you're sure that is yours. Of course you can ask that. Because it's a legit question. If you think she's, you know, wayward, it's a legit question. Even if you don't think she's wayward, you know, there are still non-wayward people that have, you know, you know, circumstances. One thing led to another. You know, but the bottom line is this. Wait till the nine weeks. Do the DNA test. Forget all this, you know, pushing people away. It's not necessary, guys. It's not. These kids are a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to have a child. I'm telling you, man. You know, and it might set you back a little bit based on where you are in life. But the truth is that <laughs> they're going to grow up. And you're going to be proud that you had them. That's all I have for today, guys. If you love this kind of content, please subscribe, follow, like, hit the notification bell so you continue getting more content like this. You know, it's definitely a pleasure sharing all these Nollywood lifestyle experiences with my people. Because guess what? Life is practically a movie. You know, we just don't know it yet till it's your time to leave. You know, let's continue doing the right thing, standing by the truth and, you know, making strives while learning from experiences. This is CJ from McNally Studios and I'm here to deliver sense. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next clip.